Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to pass the parameters from the function call to the function definition in shell scripting. So in the previous concept, we have studied about the introduction to functions in shell scripting. So how can we write the function call and what is the syntax for writing the function definition and everything we have seen in the previous session. And now we'll see the pass parameter passing. So how the parameters can be passed from the function call to function definition. So here the parameters, so parameters are nothing but we can also call them as a arguments, arguments or we can simply say them as a inputs, inputs given to the function definition. So these inputs can be sent from the function call to the function definition or we can assign the inputs or we can initialize the inputs in the function definition itself. So here we will see how can we pass these arguments from function call function call to function definition right. So this can be done in two ways that means uh, one is a scalar variables. So how the scalar variables can be passed from function call to function definition and another one is a arrays. How can we pass the arrays from function call to the function definition. Right now, see as we know that the function definition should be written in the syntax function followed by the function name. Let it be some display, displays the function name I have given and followed with the parentheses and use the curly braces. And here you need to write the instructions. And coming to the function call, here we need to write the name which we have given in the function definition. So we should not use the parentheses. So followed by the arguments so argument one argument two space okay space argument three etc etc number of arguments can be given here now how can we pass these arguments to this particular function definition so the value of this particular argument one will be represented with a dollar one and the argument two is represented with a dollar two and the argument three is represented with a dollar three and so on Right. So if you want to use the arguments which are passed from the function call, those arguments should be used with the help of a dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, and etc. And simply if you try to print dollar hash, so this will give the number of arguments that are passed from the function call. So the number of arguments, the number of arguments that are passed from the function call. So this is how we can access the parameters from function call to function definition, right? So hope you understood this one. So in the function call, write down the function name followed by the argument space separated arguments. So any number of arguments can be written here. So the number of argument, the first argument can be accessed inside the function definition by representing dollar one and dollar two for second argument, dollar three for third argument and so on. Right. So this is how we can pass the scalar variables. That means the normal variables from function call to function definition. So I will demonstrate a program. So don't worry. So we'll see the second option also. Then, then we will go with the terminal and we'll execute the programs for both the scalar variables and the arrays. Now I will go. I will, I will show you the uh, how the arrays can be passed from uh, function call to the function definition. So coming to the function uh, arrays, so simple, the same syntax, the function followed by the name of the function given, followed by the parentheses and use the curly braces. And write down the here, uh, the function call followed by the array, right? So here we have discussed in the previous sessions, that means how can we declare the arrays and how can we represent the arrays? So array can be declared as array name is equal to parentheses inside the parentheses give the space separated values for example 10 space 20 space 30 and space 40 so that this means array with four elements array of four elements right so we need to pass this array so that's why here we need to use so here we declare the array elements so 10 20 30 and 40 now we need to pass the array to the function so simply use the dollar a so dollar a is nothing but a value given here 
so just pass the value here so a is an array so we need to pass the value of that particular array to the function so here how can we access so in order to print the complete array we have seen that the syntax dollar curly braces a followed by the square braces inside the square braces we need to give the at the rate or a star and close the parentheses so this will simply print the elements of the array simply it will print the elements of the array or simply you can use the iterative statements to print the individual elements also right so this is how we will pass the array to the functions so this is an array declaration so which we have seen in the previous sessions so i will share the link the play complete playlist in the description section so that just follow this one how to declare the array how to initialize and how to access the elements of an array and then you can simply go through this video right so display followed by the dollar a dollar a means the value of the array that will be passed to this particular function and here you can use that array right so in order to print the complete elements you can simply use this syntax dollar uh, curly braces a array name and in inside the subscript instead of giving the index simply give the at the rate symbol so that it will access all the elements right so this is how we can pass the scalar variables to the function definition as well as the array to the function definition now let us open the ubuntu and i will explain you how it, it uh, works right now so let us see the terminal so i will open the terminal and i will explain you yes <clears throat> now so already here we are having a few files so i'll just remove this one and uh, we'll create one more file right so function dot sh right now you can see there is no we yeah, are already one more function is there rm function dot sh there are no files here Right. So let us create vi function dot sh. So empty file. It was created. Shift to the insert mode. Now just write the function definition first. So use the function keyword function and use the function name. This is a function name. Parentheses and open braces and write down the instructions to be executed after the function call uh, is executed. So here just I will write the echo. Uh, welcome to functions in shell scripting right so here uh, i just want to access the elements from the function call right so we need to pass the scalar variables from the function call so that that variables should be accessed here so i will just go with the echo so number of arguments are dollar hash right so simply you can remove this one. And next, we'll access the individual elements. So echo. So first parameter. First parameter dollar one. Echo. Second parameter dollar two. Similarly, third parameter dollar three right so i'll execute this one now simply write down the function call followed by the arguments so i'll write some 100 200 300 right so save this one and uh, apply the execute permissions so ch mod plus x function dot sh so that the execution permitters permissions have been given for this particular file now execute this one by using dot slash file name dot sh so now you can see the welcome to the functions in shell scripting was printed and then the number of arguments are three so we have given the arguments as three the first parameter is 100 second parameter is 200 and the third parameter is 300 so this is how we can access the elements we can pass the elements from the function call to function definition here you can see the, we have we are passing the three arguments so the first argument is represented with the dollar one dollar two dollar three 
Now, how can we pass the array? Right? See. So I will write one more function. So function array display. Right? So here we need to print the array. So I will write here. So welcome to functions with arrays. We will write the same thing. Okay. Shell scripting. Now echo. So how to represent the complete elements? So array elements are simply you can write it as dollar a give the braces sorry uh, open the curly braces then a use the subscripts inside the subscript use the at the rate symbol so that it will represent all the array elements so you can pass here and also uh, i will give echo uh, number of uh, arguments here arguments are dollar hash right now instead of this one i will write the array display just we, we need to write the function call right array display and consider the array use one array some uh, a is equal to okay a is equal to runs 20 30 40 50 60 so i'm taking some five elements and i'm just passing the uh, elements of a and just give the comment here so that the function display will not be get executed now i will execute this one so save this file so we already we have given this uh, execute permission for this file so directly we can execute this one so you can see the number of arguments are one because array is having a multiple elements but array will be considered as a single argument so the number of arguments are one and the array elements are 20 30 40 50 60 so all the elements have been active right so simply if you want to add all the elements simply use this one so sum is equal to zero and here uh, array elements are this one and simply you can use this for element in so give the same thing array elements so a of uh, at the rate so in every iteration it will go with the single element right do a sum is equal to dollar of dollar sorry dollar sum plus dollar element so that it will add all the elements of an array okay it will add all the elements of an array and simply just done and here you can write so sum of all the elements of array is so simply use a dollar sum so that it will get so here you can execute this one so there might be a small error so let us check it there see the elements welcome to functions in shell scripting and the number of arguments are one and the array elements are 20 30 40 50 60 and sum of all the elements of an array you can add all these things so that we get the uh, value as 200 so like this we can simply pass the parameters from function call to function definition so in this session we have seen how can we pass the scalar variables that means a normal variables so which can hold a single value uh, as a parameters from the function call to function definition as well as uh, we have seen how can we pass the array elements a single array as a parameter to the uh, function call to function definition so hope you enjoyed this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this session feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much